I am the Lord your God, and today I come to you with a message of protection and love. There is a threat circling your life, one that you have sensed in the air. You may not always be able to name it, but you feel it deeply. This is not a moment to ignore, for those forces seek to destroy what you hold dearest in your heart, those things you've carefully guarded. What you value is precious to me as well. I have placed blessings over your life that no one can take unless you allow fear and doubt to enter your heart. This is a call for vigilance, a spiritual warning to awaken you to the reality of the battle around you. You've noticed how certain people or situations seem to rise against you, disturbing your peace, your sense of purpose, and everything that holds you steady. It is as if they are trying to extinguish the light I have placed inside you. That light not only guides you, but also blesses those around you. This is no accident, no fleeting misunderstanding. These forces are here to test you, to rob you of what I have given you by divine right. They whisper lies, trying to plant fear in your heart, suggesting that maybe you won't be strong enough that perhaps their strength is greater than yours. But listen to me now, the power within you is greater than any threat that stands before you. The strength that I, your God, have placed in you is unbreakable. Though the enemy may try, they cannot shatter what I have fortified in your spirit. Their goal is to sow confusion and despair, but you are never alone. You are surrounded by my angels, who stand guard over your life. They are there, shielding you from every arrow aimed at your heart. The enemy may think they can overcome you, but they do not understand the heavenly forces standing behind you. You must remember that the shield of faith I have given you is impenetrable. But it requires your trust in me to activate it fully. No weapon formed against you will succeed, but you must believe this with all your heart. Sometimes, the threats do not come as open attacks. Often, they are disguised as friendly words, false promises, or situations that seem harmless. This is when you must be most alert. Not all enemies reveal their true face, and they may not come from the places you expect. Stand firm, and do not allow fierce whispers to take root in your mind. Everything you have received, every blessing, was given with a purpose and sealed with my protection. The enemy cannot take what I have given unless you give them the opening through doubt or inaction. It's natural to feel uncertain when the storm approaches, but I want you to know that even in chaos, there is peace available to you. That peace lies in your faith, in the certainty that what is planned against you will not succeed. Do not underestimate the power of prayer in this moment. Prayer is your connection to me and to the armies of heaven ready to fight on your behalf. I ask you now, if you feel my presence in your life, declare it aloud. Right, I am strong and protected by God's love. Let this be your affirmation today. Now, hear me clearly. The power I have placed within you is not just for your survival. It is meant to overcome, to rise above every obstacle. The enemy tries to make you forget this by attacking in some ways. They know that if they can make you down even for a moment, they can weaken your defenses. But you are more powerful than you realize, because you carry my strength. You are not battling alone. My angels fight for you in places unseen, in the spiritual realm where the true battle is being fought. You may have felt exhausted, like you're fighting a battle that never ends. There have been moments when you've wondered if it's worth continuing, when you've felt like the weight of it all is too much to bear. I see your struggle, but 
but I tell you this, when you are weak, I am strong. You don't have to carry this burden alone. Allow me to take the weight from your shoulders. Rest in my presence and let my peace wash over you. The angels are working tirelessly on your behalf, even when you cannot see it. My child, do not be afraid of the enemies who seem to surround you. They may try to create confusion, stirring up doubt and fear, but they do not control your future. Your destiny is in my hands, and I have already written your victory. The battle is real, but so is your strength in me. You have been prepared for this moment. Every trial you've faced up until now has strengthened your spirit. You are more than a conqueror through my love. Do not be distracted by the chaos around you. Fix your eyes on me. Understand that this is not the end of your story. It may feel like you are standing in the middle of a storm, but the storm is just part of your journey. It's shaping you, refining you, and preparing you for the greater things I have planned for you. The enemy wants you to believe that this is where it all falls apart, but they are wrong. I am using even the attacks against you for your good. What they intended for harm, I will turn into blessings. Do not let your heart grow weary. Hold on to my promises with unwavering faith. Now is the time to dig deeper into prayer, into faith, and into trust. Speak to me, let me hear your voice, and watch as I move the heavens to bring about the victory I have promised. I have placed my angels around you, ready to act at the sound of your prayers. This is your time to rise, to stand firm in your faith, and to declare that nothing formed against you will prosper. I am with you, now and always. You are my beloved child, and I will not allow anything to harm me that I cannot use for your good. If you feel my strength within you, declare it. Right, I carry God's strength within me, and no weapon can prosper against me. Let this be your declaration of faith today. There is more happening than what your eyes can see. The battle you are facing is not just physical or emotional, it is deeply spiritual. The enemy knows that you are on the verge of a breakthrough, a moment where my purpose for you will be revealed in ways you cannot yet imagine. That is why the attacks have increased, why the weight has felt heavier. The enemy is trying to wear you down, hoping that you will give up before you see the victory that is already yours. But you must know this, every time they try to knock you down, they only push you closer to me. Every time they attack, they strengthen your faith, even when they think they are weakening you. Your prayers have power. Your faith is a weapon. When you pray, you call upon my heavenly army to act on your behalf. Do not think for a moment that your prayers go unanswered. Every cry, every whisper of faith, every declaration of trust in me stirs the heavens into action. This battle is refining you. It is purifying your faith and strengthening your spirit. The enemy sees your potential and is terrified of what will happen when you step fully into the calling I have for you. That is why they try to distract you with lies, with doubts, and with fear but I have already declared your victory. My plan for you is unstoppable, as long as you stay connected to me and do not allow fear to take root in your heart. This is a moment for you to grow stronger in your faith. The trials you face now are not meant to break you, but to build you. You are being forged in the fire so that you can come out on the other side stronger, more confident, and more certain of who you are in me. You are my child, and I have placed my spirit within you. 
Nothing that comes against you will be able to stand when you walk in the fullness of that truth. You are not called to run from this battle, but to face it with the assurance that I am with you. The victory is already written. This is not the end of your journey. It is a necessary step toward the greater things I have prepared for you. Trust in me, even when the road ahead seems unclear. Know that I am guiding your steps and that the angels I have sent are clearing the path before you, even when you cannot see it. If you believe that I have already declared your victory, right, God has written my victory, and I trust in his plan for my life. You have come too far to give up now. The enemy sees that you are about to step into a new season of blessings, and that is why they are trying so hard to make you fall. But you will not fall, because I am holding you. Your faith is the key to unlocking the promises I have made over your life. The enemy wants you to focus on your weaknesses, to believe that you are not strong enough to withstand this storm. But you are not relying on your strength alone, you are relying on mine. Every time you feel the weight of the battle, remember that I am carrying you. I have never left your side, and I never will. My angels are stationed around you, fighting in the spiritual realm on your behalf. Even when you feel like giving up, they are there, lifting you up and protecting you from every attack. This battle may seem endless, but it is only for a time. The victory is coming, and it is closer than you think. Do not be swayed by the voices around you that try to pull you away from the truth I have placed in your heart. Not everyone who speaks to you has your best interests at heart. Some of the words you hear are meant to confuse you, to make you doubt the path I have set before you. But I have given you wisdom, discernment, and the guidance of my Holy Spirit. Trust in what I have shown you, and do not be led astray by the voices of doubt and fear. This is the time to stand firm. You have been through so much already, and each trial has only made you stronger. The enemy thought that you would fall, but here you are, standing in faith. That faith is your greatest weapon. As long as you hold on to it, nothing can stop you. Do not let fear have any place in your heart. Fear is the enemy's greatest tool, but I have given you a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. Use it. Every step you take in faith brings you closer to the breakthrough I have prepared for you. Every time you choose to trust me instead of giving in to fear, you are moving one step closer to the victory that has already been declared in the heavens. I am proud of you for standing firm. The enemy underestimated your strength, but I always knew what you were capable of. I created you for this moment. If you believe that I am your strength, right, with God's strength, I will overcome every obstacle. You are not alone in this battle. Even when it feels like no one understands what you are going through, I am with you, and my angels are surrounding you. They are fighting for you in the places you cannot see. Every prayer you lift up is heard in the heavens, and every moment of faith is met with my power. The enemy wants you to feel isolated, as if no one is on your side. But that is far from the truth. There is an army of angels working on your behalf, fighting battles in the spiritual realm to protect you from attacks you are not even aware of. When you feel overwhelmed, remember that you are not standing alone. My angels are with you, and I am with you. This is why you must continue to pray, continue to trust, and continue to walk in faith. The enemy knows that if they can isolate you, they can weaken you. But you are never alone. In the darkest moments, when it feels like the battle is too much, 
I want you to know that my angels are tirelessly working to clear your path. They are removing obstacles, breaking down barriers, and protecting you from every scheme of the enemy. Do not be discouraged by what you see in the natural. The true battle is in the spiritual, and you are already victorious there. Your prayers are powerful. Every time you call out to me, the heavens move on your behalf. My angels hear your prayers and respond. You are never fighting this battle alone. Even in the moments when you feel like giving up, my angels are there to lift you up, to fight for you, and to ensure that you reach the victory I have promised you. Do not let the enemy convince you that you are powerless. You are surrounded by divine power and nothing can stand against you when you stand with me. Your faith activates the armies of heaven and they are ready to fight for you. Do not give up now. You are closer to your breakthrough than you realize. If you believe that your purpose is greater than the battle, type, my purpose is greater than this battle, and I trust God's plan. The enemy is a master of deception. They know that if they can fill your mind with lies, they can weaken your resolve. But I am the God of truth, and I have given you the power to overcome every lie that comes your way. The enemy may whisper that you are not good enough, that you are too weak, or that you are alone. But these are nothing more than lies, designed to rob you of the truth I have spoken over you. You are not weak, my child. You are strong because I am strong in you. You are not alone, for I am with you always. The enemy wants you to focus on your shortcomings, but I need you to focus on me. I am the one who equips you, strengthens you, and walks with you every step of the way. The lies of the enemy have no power when you stand on the truth of my word. Every time you hear the voice of doubt, every time the enemy tries to convince you that you won't make it, I want you to counter it with the truth. Speak my promises over your life. Remind yourself that I am the one who goes before you, and I am the one who fights for you. The enemy cannot stand against my truth, and when you declare it, the lies lose their power. You are my child, and I have called you to walk in victory, not in fear. The enemy may try to plant seeds of doubt, but I have given you the armor of truth. Wear it every day, covering your heart and mind with my word. When you feel the enemy's lies pressing in, return to the truth. Open my word and declare it over your life. This is how you defeat the enemy's tactics, by standing firm in my promises and refusing to be moved by the lies. Remember, the enemy has no real power over you. The only power they have is the influence you give them through fear and doubt. But you are stronger than the enemy's lies because my truth is eternal. Stand in that truth, and do not waver. You are not defined by the enemy's words, you are defined by what I have spoken over you. You are loved, you are chosen, and you are victorious in me. If you believe that my truth conquers the enemy's lies, type, I stand in God's truth, and no lie will shake me. I want you to understand the power of trust. When you trust in me, you unlock doors that no one can shut. Trust is the foundation of your faith, and it is the key that opens the door to the blessings I have stored up for you. The enemy wants to shake your trust, to make you question my goodness and my plans for your life. But I am calling you to trust me fully, even when you cannot see what I am doing. Trust is not easy, I know. It requires you to let go of control, to surrender your plans, and to place your future in my hands. But when you trust me, 
you will see doors open that you never even knew existed. I have been preparing blessings for you, opportunities that are just waiting for the right moment. Your trust in me will unlock these doors, and you will walk into the fullness of what I have prepared. The enemy will try to convince you that you can't trust me, that you need to take matters into your own hands. But I am telling you today, trust me. I know the plans I have for you, and they are plans to prosper you, not to harm you. When you trust me, you are inviting my hand to move in your life in ways that will leave you in awe. The doors I open for you cannot be shut by anyone or anything. Trust requires patience, and I know that waiting can be difficult. But I assure you, the wait is not wasted. I am working in the background, aligning everything according to my perfect plan. When the time is right, the doors will open, and you will see why it was worth the wait. Do not rush ahead of me, and do not let impatience lead you to make decisions outside of my will. Trust me fully, and you will see the fruit of that trust in your life. I ask you now to surrender your fears, your doubts, and your need for control. Place everything in my hands and trust that I will lead you through. The doors that I open for you will lead to blessings, peace, and fulfillment. You do not need to worry about what lies ahead, because I am already there, preparing the way for you. Trust in me, and watch the doors open. If you trust that I am opening doors in your life, type, I trust God, and I believe He is opening doors for me. You have been walking a long and difficult path, and I know that at times you've wondered if you have the strength to continue. But I am telling you now, do not give up. Your breakthrough is nearer than you think. The enemy wants you to believe that you're at a dead end, but in reality, you are on the edge of something great. Every step you have taken, every prayer you have prayed, has brought you closer to this moment. I know you are tired. I know that the fight has been long. But my child, I need you to persevere just a little longer. The enemy sees that you are close to your breakthrough, and that is why the attacks have intensified. They want to wear you down, to make you give up just before the victory is in your hands. But you are stronger than they realize. You have my strength within you, and you will see this through to the end. Perseverance is not just about enduring the struggle, it is about pressing forward with the confidence that I am with you every step of the way. You may not see the full picture yet, but trust that I am working all things together for your good. This battle is shaping you, preparing you for the blessings that are just beyond the horizon. Do not let the fatigue of the journey cause you to give up on what I have promised you. The breakthrough you have been praying for is not far off. I need you to keep walking, keep trusting, and keep believing that I am bringing you into a new season of victory. The enemy cannot stop what I have planned for you, as long as you do not give up. Your perseverance is the key to unlocking the promises I have made over your life. Every step of faith you take is moving you closer to the fulfillment of those promises. When you feel like you can't go on, remember that I am with you, carrying you through the difficult moments. Lean on me, draw your strength from me, and keep pressing forward. The enemy wants you to give up, but I am telling you that your perseverance will lead to victory. You are closer than you think, and the breakthrough is coming. If you believe your breakthrough is near, type, I will persevere, for my breakthrough is near. My beloved child, you are not vulnerable. The enemy wants you to think that you are exposed to their attacks, but I tell you now, you are covered by divine protection. 
I have placed a shield around you that no weapon formed against you can penetrate. The attacks may come, but they will not succeed. You are surrounded by my angels, who stand guard over your life day and night. Nothing can touch you without going through me first. The enemy sees your potential, and that is why they try to attack you from every side. But I have placed a wall of protection around you that is impenetrable. You may feel the pressure of the attacks, but they cannot harm you. The enemy wants you to believe that you are defenseless, but you are not. You are covered by my hand, and no force in heaven or on earth can break through that covering. I need you to stand in confidence, knowing that my protection is over you. Do not let fear take hold of your heart. The enemy thrives on fear, but fear has no place in the life of my child. I am your refuge, your fortress, your strong tower. When the enemy comes against you, they will stumble and fall, because I am with you. My angels surround you like a mighty army, and they will not allow the enemy to come near. Do not be afraid of the arrows that fly by day or the terror that comes by night. I have placed a shield around you that nothing can penetrate. The enemy's attacks are powerless against my protection. You are safe in my arms, and I will not let anything harm you. Even when the battle rages around you, know that you are secure. I have placed my mark upon you, and the enemy cannot touch what belongs to me. Remember, my protection is not just physical, it is also spiritual. I guard your heart and mind from the lies of the enemy. When the enemy tries to plant seeds of doubt, my truth stands as a shield around you. Do not let fear or worry take root. You are covered by my love, and nothing can separate you from my protection. Rest in this truth and walk with confidence, knowing that you are divinely protected. If you believe you are covered by divine protection, type, I am protected by God's divine shield. I know there are moments when you feel weak, when the weight of the battle seems too much to bear. But I want you to know that my strength is made perfect in your weakness. You were never meant to fight this battle on your own. I am with you, and my strength is what will carry you through. When you reach the end of your strength, that is where I begin. I will sustain you in ways you cannot imagine, lifting you up when you feel like you can't go any further. Your weakness is not a limitation. It is an opportunity for my power to be revealed in your life. The enemy tries to make you believe that you are too weak to continue, but they do not understand the power that I have placed within you. When you feel like you have nothing left to give, turn to me. I will renew your strength, and I will give you the endurance to keep moving forward. Do not be ashamed of your weakness, for it is in your weakness that my glory shines the brightest. When you are weak, I am strong. Lean on me, and I will carry you through. You do not have to rely on your own strength, because I am with you, and my strength knows no limits. The enemy may try to exploit your weaknesses, but they will not succeed, because I will be your strength. The key to overcoming this battle is not in your ability, but in your reliance on me. The more you trust in my strength, the more you will see victory in your life. Do not try to carry this burden on your own. Lay it down at my feet and allow me to be your strength. You will see that when you surrender your weakness to me, I will lift you up and give you the power to overcome. In your moments of greatest weakness, you will experience my greatest power. This is how I work in your life. When you come to the end of yourself, I step in and take over. Do not fear your limitations, 
for I am limitless. My strength will sustain you, and you will walk in victory, not because of your own power, but because of mine. If you believe that my strength will sustain you, type, in my weakness, God's strength sustains me. I have plans for your future, my child, and those plans are good. The enemy will try to convince you that your future is uncertain, that they have the power to destroy what I have promised you. But hear me now, the enemy has no power over your future. Your future is in my hands, and nothing they do can alter my plans for you. I have written your future, and it is filled with hope, blessings, and purpose. The enemy may try to create fear about what lies ahead, but I want you to walk in confidence, knowing that I am already in your future, preparing the way for you. I know the thoughts I think toward you, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. Do not be swayed by the lies that say your future is in jeopardy. I hold your future, and no one can take that from you. The enemy thrives on uncertainty, but I have already written the end of your story. You are not walking toward an uncertain future, you are walking toward the fulfillment of everything I have promised you. The enemy may try to throw obstacles in your path, but I will use those very obstacles to strengthen you and to prepare you for what lies ahead. Your future is secure in me. I need you to trust that I am working all things together for your good. Even the challenges you face now are part of the plan I have for you. They are shaping you, refining you, and preparing you for the blessings that are coming. Do not fear the future, for I am already there, and I have made a way for you. Every step you take is leading you closer to the fulfillment of my promises. Remember, the enemy cannot stop what I have started. They have no authority over your future unless you give it to them through fear or doubt. Stand firm in your faith, knowing that I am the author of your story, and I am writing a beautiful ending. Your future is filled with my promises, and no enemy can take that from you. If you believe that your future is secure in my hands, type, my future is secure in God's hands. I have already declared your victory. Before the battle even began, I wrote the outcome, and it is one of triumph. The enemy wants you to think that the outcome is uncertain, that the battle could go either way. But I am telling you now, the victory is already yours. You are not fighting for victory, you are fighting from victory. The enemy is already defeated, and you are walking in the fulfillment of my promises. You may not see the full victory yet, but trust that it has been decreed in heaven. The bow may still be raging, but the outcome is certain. I have already won, and because you are my child, you share in that victory. Do not let the enemy deceive you into thinking that the battle is still undecided. You are a victor, not a victim, and I have called you to walk in the confidence of that truth. Victory is not just about the absence of challenges, it is about overcoming those challenges with my strength. The enemy will continue to attack, but they cannot change the outcome. I have placed a shield of protection around you, and I have decreed that no weapon formed against you will prosper. The victory is already yours, and the enemy knows this. That is why they are trying so hard to discourage you, to make you doubt what I have promised. But you must stand firm. The victory has been declared, but you must walk in it. Every step of faith you take is a step into the victory I have prepared for you. Do not be discouraged by the challenges you face, they are simply part of the process of claiming the victory I have already won for you. Keep moving forward, keep trusting in me, 
and watch as the victory unfolds in your life. Remember, you are not walking this path alone. My angels are with you, guiding you and fighting for you. I am with you, leading you every step of the way. The victory has been written and nothing can change that. All you need to do is trust in me and keep moving forward in faith. The enemy cannot stop what I have started in your life. The victory is yours. If you believe that victory has already been declaring your life, type, I walk in victory, for God has declared it over me. My child, I know you've been waiting for answers, and I see your heart growing weary. You've been faithful in the small things, and yet the breakthrough you're hoping for hasn't come. But I want you to trust me today. My timing is perfect, and I have not forgotten you. I know it's difficult to wait when you can't see what's happening behind the scenes, but I am working even in the waiting. There is a purpose in every delay, a reason for every pause. I want you to understand that my timing is not like yours. You see only what is in front of you, but I see the entire picture. I know what is best for you, and I am orchestrating everything according to my perfect plan. The waiting period is not a denial, it is preparation. There are things that I need to do in you before I can bring you into the next season. Trust me in the process. Will you perceive this delay is often my way of setting the stage for something far greater than you imagined. During this time, I am building your character, strengthening your faith, and preparing you for the blessings that are to come. I need you to be fully ready to handle the weight of the blessings I have for you. If I were to give you everything too soon, it could overwhelm you. But I am patient and I know exactly when to release each blessing into your life. Do not lose heart in the waiting. I am with you every step of the way. I also want you to know that the waiting is not wasted time. I am using this season to grow you in ways you cannot yet see. You are being refined, purified, and prepared for the next chapter of your journey. There are lessons to be learned here that will serve you well in the future. Trust that I am using every moment, every challenge, and every delay for your good. What I have planned for you is worth the wait. When you feel discouraged by how long things are taking, I ask you to shift your focus to me. Trust that my timing is perfect and that I am never late. Even when it seems like nothing is happening, I am at work, aligning everything for your good. You will look back one day and see how every moment of waiting was a crucial part of my plan for your life. Keep trusting, keep waiting, and keep believing that I am faithful. If you believe that God's timing is perfect, type, I trust God's perfect timing for my life. My beloved, Peace is your inheritance. It is a gift I have given you, and the enemy will do everything in their power to take it from you. They will try to fill your mind with worry, with fear, and with doubt. But I have called you to live in peace, not in anxiety. My peace is not like the world's peace. It is deeper, unshakable, and constant. It is the kind of peace that stands firm even in the midst of the storm. The enemy knows that if they can steal your peace, they can weaken your spirit. That is why they attack you with thoughts of fear and worry, trying to give you to focus on the problems instead of my promises. But I am telling you today, do not let the enemy steal what I have given you. My peace is yours to hold on to even in the most difficult of circumstances. When you feel the weight of the world pressing down on you, return to my peace. You may wonder how to find peace when everything around you feels chaotic. 
The answer is simple, come to me. I am the source of peace. When you spend time in my presence, you will find a peace that the world cannot offer. Let go of the need to control everything and rest in the knowledge that I am in control. Cast all your cares upon me, for I care for you. Do not let the enemy distract you with fear and doubt. There is no situation you are facing that I cannot handle. I see every detail and I am working it out for your good. Trust me with your burdens and let my peace fill your heart. Every time the enemy tries to pull you into worry, speak my word over your life. Declare my promises and watch as my peace surrounds you. The enemy has no power over you when you stand in the peace I have given you. Remember, peace is not the absence of problems, but the presence of my spirit within you. I will give you the strength to face every challenge with calm assurance. When you walk in my peace, you become a beacon of light to others, showing them what it means to trust in me. Do not allow the enemy to rob you of this precious gift. My peace is your strength. If you believe that God's peace is stronger than any fear, type, I live in God's peace and no fear can shake me. My child, I hear every prayer you speak. Even the ones whispered in the quiet of your heart, I hear them all. I know there are moments when it feels like your prayers are going unanswered, but I want you to know that every prayer is powerful. You may not see the answer right away, but your prayers are moving things in the spiritual realm. Do not stop praying, for your prayers are the key to unlocking the miracles I have in store for you. The enemy wants to discourage you from praying. They want you to believe that your prayers are ineffective, that I am not listening. But this is far from the truth. Every time you pray, heaven hears you. Every time you cry out to me, I am listening. Your prayers are not falling on deaf ears. They are powerful and they are making a difference. Even when you cannot see the results, know that things are shifting in the spiritual realm because of your prayers. There is power in persistence. I have called you to pray without ceasing because I know the power that prayer holds. When you pray, you are aligning yourself with my will and you are inviting me to move in your life. The enemy wants you to give up, to stop praying because they know the breakthrough is coming. But I am telling you today, keep praying. Do not grow weary, for your prayers are about to be answered. Every prayer you speak is a seed planted in faith. Some seeds take time to grow, but they will bear fruit in due season. I am working through your prayers, even when you cannot see the evidence right away. Trust that I am moving, that I am working in ways you cannot imagine. Your prayers are powerful because you are praying to the God who moves mountains, the God who parts seas, the God who makes a way where there is no way. I want you to pray with expectation. When you pray, believe that I am listening and believe that I will answer. The enemy wants you to doubt the effectiveness of your prayers, but I want you to trust in the power of prayer. I have placed my spirit within you, and when you pray, my spirit moves. Do not give up on praying, for you are on the brink of something incredible. If you believe in the power of prayer, type, I believe in the power of prayer, and I will keep praying. I created you with a purpose, my child. You are not here by accident, and you are not meant to live a life of defeat. I have placed within you everything you need to live a life of victory. The enemy may try to convince you otherwise, but I am telling you now, you are more than a conqueror through me. 
You were created to overcome, to rise above every challenge, and to walk in the fullness of my promises. The enemy's strategy is to make you feel defeated before the battle even begins. They want you to believe that you are not strong enough, that the obstacles in front of you are too great. But I have equipped you with my strength, and nothing is impossible for you when you walk in my power. You are not fighting alone, I am with you, and I have already won the victory on your behalf. When you feel overwhelmed, when the battle seems too difficult, remember that I have called you to victory. Do not let the enemy's lies take root in your heart. You are not destined for defeat. The challenges you face are opportunities for my power to be revealed in your life. Every obstacle is an opportunity to grow, to strengthen your faith, and to walk in the victory that I have already declared for you. You must understand that victory is not just about the absence of struggle. It is about overcoming the struggles with my strength. The enemy may try to knock you down, but I will lift you up. You are not defined by your failures. You are defined by what I have spoken over you. I have called you victorious, and that is who you are. Walk in that truth, and do not let the enemy convince you otherwise. Every time you face a challenge, I want you to remember that I am with you. I am the one who fights for you, and I have already won the victory. You are not alone in this battle. Stand firm in the knowledge that you were created for victory, not defeat. The enemy's plans will not prosper because my plans for you are far greater. If you believe that you were created for victory, type, I was created for victory, and I walk in God's strength. My precious child, I want you to know this truth, your identity is not found in your circumstances. The world may try to define you by what you have been through, by the struggles you face, or by your failures. But I want you to understand that your true identity is found in me. You are not defined by what the world says about you, you are defined by what I have spoken over you. You are my beloved child, chosen, and deeply loved. The enemy will try to make you believe that you are less than, that you are not worthy of love or success. They will use your past, your mistakes, and your struggles to make you feel insignificant. But I am telling you now, those things do not define you. I do. You are who I say you are, and I say that you are forgiven, redeemed, and made new. Your past does not have the power to determine your future. I do. You must learn to see yourself the way I see you. I see you as precious, as valuable, and as strong. You may feel weak at times, but in my eyes, you are a warrior. You may have made mistakes, but in my eyes, you are forgiven. I have removed your sins as far as the east is from the west. Do not let the enemy deceive you into believing that you are unworthy. You are worthy because I have made you so. Your circumstances may be difficult, but they do not change who you are in me. No matter what you are going through, your identity remains the same. You are my child, and I am with you. Do not let your current situation make you doubt your worth. You are loved. You are chosen, and you are mine. Nothing can change that. I want you to walk in the confidence of knowing who you are in me. The enemy cannot take that away from you unless you allow them to. Stand firm in the truth of your identity, and do not let the lies of the world or the circumstances of your life shake you. You are who I say you are, and that is all that matters. If you believe that your identity is found in God, type, my identity is found in God, 
and I am who he says I am. My child, I see your needs, and I know the desires of your heart. I know there are moments when you wonder how you will make it through, when the weight of your needs feels overwhelming. But I want to remind you today that I am your provider. I have always provided for you, and I will continue to meet every need. My provision is always enough. You do not need to worry about tomorrow, for I am already there, and I have made a way for you. The enemy wants you to focus on lack, on what you don't have. They want to fill your mind with worry about how you will make ends meet. But I am Jehovah Jireh, your provider, and I have promised to meet all of your needs according to my riches and glory. I have never failed you, and I will not start now. Trust in my provision, for it is more than enough. There may be times when you feel like you don't have enough, but I want you to look back at how I have taken care of you in the past. Remember the times I have provided when it seemed impossible. I am the same yesterday, today, and forever. I am faithful and I will continue to provide for you. Even when it seems like there is no way, I will make a way. My provision may not always come in the way you expect, but it will come. I want you to trust me with every need. Bring them to me in prayer and leave them in my hands. Do not worry about how I will provide, just know that I will. When you trust in my provision, you release the burden of worry and you allow me to move in your life. Worry only robs you of peace, but trust in me will bring you the peace you desire. Remember, I am everything. The cow on a thousand hills are mine and I am more than able to meet your needs. I am not limited by the world's economy or by your circumstances. My provision flows from my love for you, and I will not let you go without. Trust in me, and you will see my hand of provision in your life, always at the right time. If you believe that God's provision is always enough, type, God is my provider, and his provision is more than enough. My beloved child, I know that you sometimes fear what the future holds. You look ahead and see uncertainty, and the enemy uses that uncertainty to fill your heart with fear. But I want you to know this, you do not need to fear the future, for I am already there. I hold your future in my hands, and I am working everything together for your good. You may not know what tomorrow holds, but you can trust that I am in control. The enemy thrives on fear, especially fear of the unknown. They want you to be so consumed with worry about the future that you forget to live in the present. But I want you to release that fear to me. You are not meant to carry the burden of tomorrow. I have already written your future and it is filled with my promises. Do not let the enemy rob you of the peace I have given you by making you fear what is ahead. You must understand that I am with you, not only today, but in every tomorrow. I know the plans I have for you, and they are plans to prosper you, not to harm you. Trust that I have already gone ahead of you, preparing the way. There may be challenges, but I will be with you through them all. There may be obstacles, but I will help you overcome them. I am your constant companion, and I will never leave you nor forsake you. I want you to live in the present, knowing that I am taking care of your future. Do not let worry about tomorrow steal the joy of today. Each day has enough trouble of its own, but I am with you in each moment. Trust that I am guiding you, step by step, and that I am leading you toward the fulfillment of my promises. The future is not something to fear, it is something to look forward to, for I am already there, preparing blessings for you. 
When fear about the future arises, speak my promises over your life. Remind yourself that I am faithful, that I am trustworthy, and that I have never failed you. You do not need to know every detail of what is to come, you only need to know that I am with you, and that I have already secured your victory. If you believe that God is in control of your future, type, I trust God with my future, and I will not fear. I am the Lord your God, and today I come to you with a message of protection and love. There is a threat circling your life, one that you have sensed in the air. You may not always be able to name it, but you feel it deeply. This is not a moment to ignore, for those forces seek to destroy what you hold dearest in your heart, those things you've carefully guarded. What you value is precious to me as well. I have placed blessings over your life that no one can take unless you allow fear and doubt to enter your heart. This is a call for vigilance, a spiritual warning to awaken you to the reality of the battle around you. You've noticed how certain people or situations seem to rise against you, disturbing your peace, your sense of purpose, and everything that holds you steady. It is as if they are trying to extinguish the light I have placed inside you. That light not only guides you but also blesses those around you. This is no accident, no fleeting misunderstanding. These forces are here to test you, to rob you of what I have given you by divine right. They whisper lies, trying to plant fear in your heart, suggesting that maybe you won't be strong enough, that perhaps their strength is greater than yours. But listen to me now, the power within you is greater than any threat that stands before you. The strength that I, your God, have placed in you is unbreakable. Though the enemy may try, they cannot shatter what I have fortified in your spirit. Their goal is to sow confusion and despair, but you are never alone. You are surrounded by my angels, who stand guard over your life. They are there, shielding you from every arrow aimed at your heart. The enemy may think they can overcome you, but they do not understand the heavenly forces standing behind you. You must remember that the shield of faith I have given you is impenetrable, but it requires your trust in me to activate it fully. No weapon formed against you will succeed, but you must believe this with all your heart. Sometimes, the threats do not come as open attacks. Often, they are disguised as friendly words, false promises, or situations that seem harmless. This is when you must be most alert. Not all enemies reveal their true face, and they may not come from the places you expect. Stand firm, and do not allow fierce whispers to take root in your mind. Everything you have received, every blessing, was given with a purpose and sealed with my protection. The enemy cannot take what I have given unless you give them the opening through doubt or inaction. It's natural to feel uncertain when the storm approaches, but I want you to know that even in chaos, there is peace available to you. That peace lies in your faith, in the certainty that what is planned against you will not succeed. Do not underestimate the power of prayer in this moment. Prayer is your connection to me and to the armies of heaven ready to fight on your behalf. I ask you now, if you feel my presence in your life, declare it aloud. Right, I am strong and protected by God's love. Let this be your affirmation today. Now, hear me clearly. The power I have placed within you is not just for your survival. It is meant to overcome, to rise above every obstacle. The enemy tries to make you forget this by attacking in subtle ways. They know that if they can make you down even for a moment, they can weaken your defenses. But you are more powerful than you realize, 
because you carry my strength. You are not battling alone. My angels fight for you in places unseen in the spiritual realm where the true battle is being fought. You may have felt exhausted, like you're fighting a battle that never ends. There have been moments when you've wondered if it's worth continuing when you felt like the weight of it all is too much to bear. I see your struggle, but I tell you this, when you are weak, I am strong. You don't have to carry this burden alone. Allow me to take the weight from your shoulders. Rest in my presence and let my peace wash over you. The angels are working tirelessly on your behalf, even when you cannot see it. My child, do not be afraid of the enemies who seem to surround you. They may try to create confusion, stirring up doubt and fear, but they do not control your future. Your destiny is in my hands, and I have already written your victory. The battle is real, but so is your strength in me. You have been prepared for this moment. Every trial you've faced up until now has strengthened your spirit. You are more than a conqueror through my love. Do not be distracted by the chaos around you. Fix your eyes on me. Understand that this is not the end of your story. It may feel like you are standing in the middle of a storm, but the storm is just part of your journey. It's shaping you, refining you, and preparing you for the greater things I have planned for you. The enemy wants you to believe that this is where it all falls apart, but they are wrong. I am using even the attacks against you for your good. What they intended for harm, I will turn into blessings. Do not let your heart grow weary. Hold on to my promises with unwavering faith. Now is the time to dig deeper into prayer, into faith, and into trust. Speak to me, let me hear your voice, and watch as I move the heavens to bring about the victory I have promised. I have placed my angels around you, ready to act at the sound of your prayers. This is your time to rise, to stand firm in your faith, and to declare that nothing formed against you will prosper. I am with you, now and always. You are my beloved child, and I will not allow anything to harm me that I cannot use for your good. If you feel my strength within you, declare it. Right, I carry God's strength within me, and no weapon can prosper against me. Let this be your declaration of faith today. There is more happening than what your eyes can see. The battle you are facing is not just physical or emotional, it is deeply spiritual. The enemy knows that you are on the verge of a breakthrough, a moment where my purpose for you will be revealed in ways you cannot yet imagine. That is why the attacks have increased, why the weight has felt heavier. The enemy is trying to wear you down, hoping that you will give up before you see the victory that is already yours. But you must know this, every time they try to knock you down, they only push you closer to me. Every time they attack, they strengthen your faith even when they think they are weakening you. Your prayers have power. Your faith is a weapon. When you pray, you call upon my heavenly army to act on your behalf. Do not think for a moment that your prayers go unanswered. Every cry, every whisper of faith, every declaration of trust in me stirs the heavens into action. This battle is refining you. It is purifying your faith and strengthening your spirit. The enemy sees your potential and is terrified of what will happen when you step fully into the calling I have for you. That is why they try to distract you with lies, with doubts, and with fear but I have already declared your victory. My plan for you is unstoppable, 
as long as you stay connected to me and do not allow fear to take root in your heart. This is a moment for you to grow stronger in your faith. The trials you face now are not meant to break you but to build you. You are being forged in the fire so that you can come out on the other side stronger, more confident, and more certain of who you are in me. You are my child, and I have placed my spirit within you. Nothing that comes against you will be able to stand when you walk in the fullness of that truth. You are not called to run from this battle, but to face it with the assurance that I am with you. The victory is already written. This is not the end of your journey, it is a necessary step toward the greater things I have prepared for you. Trust in me, even when the road ahead seems unclear. Know that I am guiding your steps and that the angels I have sent are clearing the path before you, even when you cannot see it. If you believe that I have already declared your victory, right, God has written my victory, and I trust in his plan for my life. You have come too far to give up now. The enemy sees that you are about to step into a new season of blessings, and that is why they are trying so hard to make you fall. But you will not fall, because I am holding you. Your faith is the key to unlocking the promises I have made over your life. The enemy wants you to focus on your weaknesses, to believe that you are not strong enough to withstand this storm. But you are not relying on your strength alone, you are relying on mine. Every time you feel the weight of the battle, remember that I am carrying you. I have never left your side, and I never will. My angels are stationed around you, fighting in the spiritual realm on your behalf. Even when you feel like giving up, they are there, lifting you up and protecting you from every attack. This battle may seem endless, but it is only for a time. The victory is coming, and it is closer than you think. Do not be swayed by the voices around you that try to pull you away from the truth I have placed in your heart. Not everyone who speaks to you has your best interests at heart. Some of the words you hear are meant to confuse you, to make you doubt the path I have set before you. But I have given you wisdom, discernment, and the guidance of my Holy Spirit. Trust in what I have shown you, and do not be led astray by the voices of doubt and fear. This is the time to stand firm. You have been through so much already, and each trial has only made you stronger. The enemy thought that you would fall, but here you are, standing in faith. That faith is your greatest weapon. As long as you hold on to it, nothing can stop you. Do not let fear have any place in your heart. Fear is the enemy's greatest tool, but I have given you a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. Use it. Every step you take in faith brings you closer to the breakthrough I have prepared for you. Every time you choose to trust me instead of giving in to fear, you are moving one step closer to the victory that has already been declared in the heavens. I am proud of you for standing firm. The enemy underestimated your strength, but I always knew what you were capable of. I created you for this moment. If you believe that I am your strength, right, with God's strength, I will overcome every obstacle. You are not alone in this battle. Even when it feels like no one understands what you are going through, I am with you, and my angels are surrounding you. They are fighting for you in the places you cannot see. Every prayer you lift up is heard in the heavens, and every moment of faith is met with my power. The enemy wants you to feel isolated, as if no one is on your side. But that is far from the truth. There is an army of angels working on your behalf, fighting battles in the spiritual realm to protect you from attacks you are not even aware of. 
When you feel overwhelmed, remember that you are not standing alone. My angels are with you, and I am with you. This is why you must continue to pray, continue to trust, and continue to walk in faith. The enemy knows that if they can isolate you, they can weaken you. But you are never alone. In the 